Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this. Gil's Arena, Gilbert and Rasheed Wallace and a bunch of couple other, I think Kenya Martin, a few other guys were talking about Bronny whether or not he is pro, he's a pro. And they were kind of tiptoeing around it. So I'm gonna be honest. Like, yeah, they had good things to say. Gilbert did say Bronny has a pro engine. And that most 19-year-olds aren't ready for the NBA. So what's the difference of what he's doing versus other people? And I forget who it was. But they was like, but they never know nobody who went pro that was averaging four points a game. And Gilbert said that that's cap. That's not true. And I know this is a touchy subject for some people because some people are obsessed with LeBron so much and Bronny that you can't give your honest opinion on them without getting smeared in the comment section. But a lot of but they they really said they don't know. They'll have to see. Everybody did agree that he should come back. But let's just be honest. He's not he he's really not ready for the NBA. Again, does he have flashes? Sure. And two years, I could definitely see him being a a first round pick. No problem without question. I even went back and watched some tape on Bronny. And you see it there. You do see it there. But he had a he had a late start, which wasn't his fault. And then the uh, USC coach didn't know what to do. You had him coming off the bench. You didn't mix it up. You should have swapped him out for Boogie Ellis. You didn't do it. But when you seen him going to game, yeah, yeah, again, you seen flashes. The defense will be there. He gonna he gonna lock somebody down at some point, but it just takes time and. The media, the, the the corporate media, made it to where they want this to happen. Like people are, they're going to force this to happen. Now, Brody couldn't go back to college, but honestly, is he going to go back? I, don't know. I think it's sixty forty. He goes pro. I'm gonna keep saying this. Everybody know the Lakers going to pick him up, and Brody is with the most powerful player and agent in the game, in in LeBron and Rich Paul. So. They can tell teams, don't you draft Bronny. Bronny is going to be a Laker, and he's going to stay under LeBron for a year. But I just don't know, is Bronny, is he mentally ready for the game? Because people are going to go at him no matter if LeBron is on the court with Bronny or not. And then Bronny got to go up there and answer those tough questions with the media. Like how, and he didn't, he didn't, he never really did interviews in high school or college, but now you're going to have a, a 100,000 cameras in your face constantly. People are comparing your dad. If you have an off game, they're going to rip you to shreds. And I just, part of me feel like that's unfair on Bronny when he still needs just a little bit more time. They, they, they did mention Kyrie Irving only played 11 games at Duke, which was true. But when Kyrie Irving was out there, you could tell he was one of the best players on the floor and he was going to be the number one overall pick. Like, when he was on the court, he was just way, he was levels above everybody. You can see the, the pro game. You're not seeing that with Bronny. Again, you do see pro game, but you just see it a few years later. But I can see everybody is uh, talking, tiptoeing around it because it's LeBron, and you don't want to uh, irritate him to where him and Clutch Sports turn on, turn on you. And this is why the the more smaller channels like us, we can give our opinion. And again, everybody wants Bronny to succeed. I want this to work in the NBA. Honestly, I do. But I just don't see how it was going to happen so fast when he you could tell he was still adjusting to college. Listen, that's a huge adjustment. You go against, you know, Joe Schmoes in high school to where you go to the power five schools everybody was the man at their school everybody now you got to separate yourself from them then you go to the nba and you're the one percenters of the one percenters of the one percenters you know what i'm saying the worst the worst person in the league will cook anybody one-on-one the average person but i want to get my quick thoughts about it i mean do i see an engine sure but 
he got to build himself up to that still. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what y'all think about what Gil and his crew had to say.